Hello, and welcome to this Halloween edition of PsyQ. With the movie Victor Frankenstein coming out in cinemas very soon, starring Daniel Radcliffe and James McAvoy, we wondered here at PsyQ, with all the technology that's out there these days, is there some reality behind the idea of assembling and bringing a person back to life using electricity? In the original book Frankenstein, Mary Shelley never actually specifies how the creature is assembled and brought back to life. But in the 1931 film adaptation, the film creators used electricity to show the creature coming to life. Electricity was used in all the film adaptations since the 1931 original, and it does seem logical. We see defibrillators being used in medical dramas all the time to bring people back to life. So can electricity be used to bring a creation or monster back to life? In a normally functioning heart, electrical impulses travel across the heart and tell the heart muscles when to contract or beat. If something goes wrong with those impulses, a very controlled electrical shock can restart the heart beating normally again. But the difference is, if your body has been dead for a long time, you're completely dead. Your heart stopped beating, your blood has stopped flowing, and that means there's no oxygen traveling around your body. Your cells start to decompose, and the DNA that controls all of life starts to break down. So when the DNA breaks down, there's literally no more instruction book telling your cells what to do. That's the end of you as we know it. So whilst yes, electricity can bring a person back to life, it only works if that person has very recently had their heart stop beating. So Victor Frankenstein's monster would never really be possible in real life. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.